uh, simple maze game tutorial part two. Uh, in this part, we're going to add our player to the maze. Okay, so let's take a look at what that's going to look like when we're done. Okay, so we've got our white maze walls. We've got our blue player. Okay, so we're basically going to be using the exact same method we used with the walls, uh, but instead of well, with a couple of important differences. So let's let's take a look at that. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create a player class. Okay, so uh, as I mentioned in the uh, first part of this tutorial, a class is simply a definition of an object. It tells us the properties of the object and, and what it can and cannot do. So we've created our class using the class keyword. We're calling it player, which makes sense. That's a player. Notice the P is capitalized. That is the convention. And I put in here turtle.turtle. .turtle. And this says that the player is a child of the turtle modules turtle class, which means that everything that a turtle can do, the player can do, which is pretty cool. So we've, we're initializing the uh, player instance. We're also initializing the parent class. This is the way uh, you know, class definitions are structured. And what we're saying is that the instance shape is going to be square. We're saying its color is going to be blue. Again, the pen goes up because we don't want it to draw anything. And we're setting the animation speed, this make, make it move as fast as possible, uh, to zero. Okay, so we already talked about levels in the previous video. If you're not sure what's going on, check that out. Um, so just like we did with the, the level, uh, we did, we're using P in this case to represent player. It doesn't have to be P, it could have been Q, it doesn't matter, but P makes sense. So what this is saying is I want my player to start right here. So if I wanted to change that, I could say, okay, I'll put my player right there. doesn't matter. Okay. But let's start the player up here. And then it's very easy to add. So here in our code where we're setting up the level, uh, we were looking for the X. And if there was an X, we put the pen to the screen X and we stamped it because that's background. The, those walls, they don't move. They don't really do anything. Uh, we'll talk later about how to get the player to, to not walk through them, but uh, that's that's another lesson. So what we got to do? So if the character uh, is a P, so instead of an X, if it's a P, we want the player to go to that coordinates or those coordinates. Okay. So then down here, I need to create my player class instance. So player equals player capital P. So what that says is the player is an instance of the player class. So everything that defines the player class, blue square, pen up, speed zero, uh, child of the turtle class, applies to the player. So then when I say player.go to, it will go to that location on the screen. So let's take a look at that one more time. And that's pretty much it. Again, I don't know if you noticed, but the blue square started here because all uh, turtles start at the center. And then it jumped here once the, the, we got to that spot in the code. Okay. Now notice the, it doesn't move yet. We haven't worked on that part. That's, that's upcoming. But that's really it. So um, if you're just using, uh, you know, so this, is, this is what we're going to be using to add various items to the game. Okay. And that is that.